Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone to IE206 Engineering Economy. And this is the chapter six, Annual Worth Analysis Part Two. And we have talked earlier about the annual worth analysis uh, in single project and comparing two alternatives using the annual worth technique. And we have talked about the advantages of the annual worth compared to the present worth analysis. And today, inshallah, we will continue with the last application of the annual worth, which is the permanent investment or the capitalized cost that we have covered already in chapter five. And we have said earlier in chapter five, part two video that is going to be repeated as is in chapter six. But the only thing that would be different, the, we are going to find the annual instead of the present as we did in chapter five. And also, there is an additional topic in Chapter 5, which was the payback period. And we don't have any more uh, applications in Chapter 6 other than the capitalized cost. So that's what makes this chapter is more easier than Chapter 5 in terms of the applications. So let's have a look on the formula that we already covered earlier about the capitalized cost, which is um the p equal uh the a equal p multiplied with the i and we have seen it that in chapter five and let's see the example of uh chapter six which is the capitalized cost example it is uh pretty much um, a comprehensive example that has three scenarios or three alternatives proposal a proposal b and proposal c and in proposal A, that the information is given, as it's stated here, requires uh, uh, dredging and the canal. The state pl is planning to purchase uh, uh, dredging equipment and accessories for 650000 The equipment is expected to have a 10 years, so an equal 10, and that the cost or the initial cost, which is the 650000 and with a 17,000 salvage value, that means this 17,000 come at the end of the life of this project, which is the 10 years. The annual operating cost, AOC, which is the 50,000, and the control uh, weeds in the canal itself and along the bank, environmentally safe uh, herbicides, will be uh, sprayed during the irrigation season. So the early cost of the weed control program is expected to be 120,000. So this is another annual cost that is expected to have in addition to the annual operating cost. And for the proposal B or alternative B, we have initial cost for a million and is going to be permanent and this is a key word is highlighted and bold here but in the questions and exams you have to find these type of words that identify that the life years is going to be infinity so the number of years in this case for this alternative will be infinity since it says permanent permanent manaha daim um, this means that it's going to be for infinity number of years but uh, minor maintenance will be required uh, every year, which means it's annual operating cost for a 5,000 and uh, repairs will have to be made every five years and that will be at a cost of 30,000. Remember, this cost, the 30,000, we have covered it in the capitalized cost in video of chapter 5, part 2, when we have talked about the recurring uh, payments and this is part of the recurring that's mean is uh, periodically appeared and here is a payment that is not an annual but it's after five years okay every five years and how we deal with that we will deal with it as we have uh, used in chapter five and the last proposal which is c the initial cost is six million and the operating cost is three thousand and the number of years is 50. So uh, and a life of 50 years compared to the alternative, 
uh, the annual worth, use the annual worth and the interest rate 5% to evaluate each alternative and decide about which one is better for the um, uh, agricultural project. Okay, so let's see the proposals, how they are breakdown in the cash flow. So proposal A, this is the first one. Is 650,000 initial cost, and when then we have 170,000 is annual operating cost and a salvage with the inflow that placed on the last year, which is the 10 years, as uh, stated in proposal B. And uh, A, sorry, in proposal B, where is the infinity number of years? You can see the cash flow end with the infinity sign that stated or that shows or indicate this project is last forever, and initial cost was 4 million. And then there is a 5,000 every year has to be paid for a maintenance and 30,000 every five years. So year five, year 10, year 15, year 20, there is a 30,000 that need to be paid uh, as a maintenance too. And for the last proposal, which lasts for 50 years as stated in the example, there is a 6 million that is initial cost and 3,000 was an annual operating cost. Let's go back to the uh, slide here to confirm those information, all of them that's been stated in the cash flow. Okay, there is something that maybe we need to emphasize on. There is the 120,000, okay, that is an annual, and also, we have another annual which is the 50,000. If you add the 50,000 to the 120, you will end up with the 170,000, and that's why the annual is here 170. Is the 120,000 plus the 50,000 because both of them are annual every year, so you can add them up since they are placed on the same time format, okay, or the same time um, uh, value, okay. So let's formulate, now after we draw the cash flow, let's formulate each alternative and see the formulation for the alternative A. And alternative A, since we now we need to convert all the values, all the values we need to convert them to an annual, not present as we did in chapter five. So the present, the 650,000 need to be converted to an annual. And since it is present, so the formulation for a present uh, to annual is A given P. Since the P is given for the 5% and the number of years is 10, and you multiply it with the given present with a minus sign. Don't forget the sign. Make sure that if it's outflow, you put a sign with a minus inflow with a plus sign. As we have the salvage here with a plus sign and A given F, why is A given F? Because it's la it is placed on year number 10 and you want to find the annual from the future for this, those number of years from 1 to 10. You want to find the annual from 1 to 10 and you have the value placed in the future on year 10, so you use A given F formulation. And then minus 50,000 and minus 120,000, which is exactly the 100. Uh, minus 170,000. If you want to break them down, you want to add them and put them with a minus sign, as in the cash flow, both of them are correct because minus 50,000 and minus 120,000, they add up to be minus 170,000, okay? So when you place those values from the table, you will get the minus 252,826 and 6,700 per year, okay? So for alternative B, now for alternative B, and here is where is the tricky part because the, um, uh, the infinity number of years appears. And as we said before, you can either refer to the tables that shows uh, the formulation and the value for the formulation uh, at n equal infinity, and we have showed that on chapter five, part two. Or you can use just the formula since it's simple and to convert the values from present to annual or annual to present. And in our case here, we need to convert them to annual from a present or annual from a future. And we will see that just now. Okay, the 4 million, definitely it's a present and need to be converted as 
an annual and since we want to convert it to annual and the number of years is infinity remember the formula as we stated before you can easily remember and recall the formula by recalling a which is the annual equal pi pi which is p the present multiplied with the i which is the interest rate and be careful you have to use the rate not the percentage so we are using the 0.05 not the five percent okay so multiplying the present which is the four million four thousand k just to make sure that you got the numbers right and no one will ask this question here this is four thousand k which means four million okay so four thousand multiplied with one thousand that's mean it's four million okay and multiply it with the rate which is 0.05 and that is the conversion to the annual from present for the number of years infinity minus 5000 no need to convert it since it is already an annual for infinity and then here is the part which is even this one it comes easier in chapter six compared to five because it can be done in one step which is you multiply it with the converting the, the future value, as we said before, we deal with the first one and no need to look to the coming um, uh, uh, recurring values. So the first one appeared on year five, which is the 30,000 here uh, at year five. You convert it to an annual from future. And how you do that? By using A given F as you did with the salvage value. You did the salvage from one to 10 by using A given f for 10 years here you will do a given f for five years and you neglect the remaining occurring values because when when you deal with one here you can uh, already calculate the others once you have the annual from one to five now you can find the um uh, you can find the the annual for the um, uh, you already found the annual sorry so there is no need to convert it anymore uh, in the chapter five we used to convert it to an annual then we find the present by multiply it with the annual but this step as i said it is going to be easier here in the chapter six by converting the future to an annual and that will be all for the uh, the infinity number of years remember you are finding the annual from one to five and that is exactly the one the annual is going to be used for all the number of years coming so this value here found in this bracket it is equivalent to all the annual from year one to infinity because dealing with the annual from one to five is going to be applied for all the other five years so you will end up with having the same exact value which is the 30,000 multiplied with a 0.18, okay? So um, when you calculate this from the table, it will be 210,429 210, and 2,500 uh, per year. And for the last um, uh, scenario or last alternative, which is deal with the 50 number of years, uh, we have the initial cost need to be converted to an annual as we did in the previous two examples and the 3000 it is an annual again no need to convert it you just place it as is with a minus sign and when you calculate all of these alternatives you find that the largest numerical value was the annual uh, annual worth for alternative B so annual worth of alternative B will be selected. Again, to highlight the main idea of this example, nothing new compared to the previous examples we have covered in chapter six. The only part that is new, which is 30,000, and the number of years when it comes to infinity. So when the number of years comes infinity and we have recurring, and if you ask what is the recurring mean, go back to chapter five, part two video recorded, and you will know what is the recurring means. Since we have a recurring that appears every periodic number of years, you find the annual from the future, the first future one, and you neglect the others. Once you have the annual for that future value, you already found the annual for the remaining number of years. So imagine if this 30,000 was appeared every 10 years, not five years. So you will have A, 
given if for 10 years, 5% multiplied with the 30,000, and that value will be exactly the annual that is used from year one to infinity with no changes further needed. So I hope that is clear because this is the only part where is it's new compared to the uh, um, previous uh, uh, applications that we have done in, in chapter A, uh, chapter six. Um, we will discuss that in coming examples when we solve problems for chapter five and six, and I will do an exclusive video just to compare the present to an annual in terms of the concept, in terms of the uh, reality use, and also in dealing with the uh, recurring uh, values that appeared in the capitalized cost case. Um, we'll see you soon in the next video. And uh, if you have questions, just write them in the post or when we meet in the next class. Good luck.